In our next story is a story we've been tracking in Goa. The probe in the murder of BJP leader and actor Sonali Fogat. The case is likely to be transferred to the CBI as the family of Sonali Fogat has urged the government to hand over the case to the Central Probe Agency. There's also been some pushing from the Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar. Meanwhile, the custodial interrogation of the main accused, Sudhir Sangwan, continues. According to Goa police sources, Sudhir hasn't yet confessed his crimes. There have been five arrests in total in this entire case. Police on Saturday arrested the owner of Curly's restaurant where the deceased was taken by her two associates before her death. We have some breaking news in this story coming in. We'll move to that and we'll move on. We're learning the NCB is likely to join this entire probe. Top sources are saying that they're questioning the accused and the arrested in the Sonali Fogat case. The NCB team is going to be questioning Sudhir Sangwan, who we just spoke about a little while earlier. Now, there are multiple aspects being investigated, primarily the substance that's been seen in videos circulated across the internet, uh, that it's seen that uh, Sonali is made to drink in that video. What were the containments in that su uh, substance? What was it made of, etc.? These are the angles that the police is looking to investigate. My colleague Anshul has been live with us in Goa over the last few days, bringing us updates in this case. Anshul, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Anshul, for our audiences who haven't been tracking this story and each angle of the story as it developed over the weekend, could you bring us up to date with all of the developments that have taken place? Because there are multiple reports out right now, some contradicting about the details that the police are already sure of and the aspects they're still investigating. So yes, it was on the 24th of August that Sonali Fogart was reported dead and initially the Goa police came out and said that this happened due to a heart attack. But eventually when the family members of Sonali Fogart went to Goa, finally came here to Goa and built pressure on the police, then the then the police were forced to go ahead with the post-mortem after which the FIR was filed. In that post-mortem, it was seen that there were bruises on her, on her body which was apparently made with, a, with some blunt object. So yes, after that the FIR was filed and hence Sudhir Sangwan and his associate Sukhvinder were taken into police custody. And when the police uh, started interrogating them, it was found out from, the pol uh, from police sources is that they actually agreed that they mixed MDMA, uh, MDMA in the water that Sonali Fogart was made to drink. And the CCTV footage that we have exclusively accessed also very clearly shows that how uh, the entire entire scene developed and how she was actually forced to drink that uh, drink that water so continuing with the uh, interrogation the police has already arrested five people in, including two drug peddlers and what Manoj uh, are uh, our investigating editor Manoj Gupta has been reporting that now NCB is coming here to join this probe because number two drug peddlers have been arrested and also the owner Edwin who has been arrested, he has been arrested under the N NDPS Act because remember approximately 2.2 grams of methamphetamine was found in the toilet where Sonali Fogart was uh, actually for two hours after she uh, got, got inebriated and, and the CCTV footages that came out where we saw that Suji Sagwan was actually taking Sonali Fogart to that toilet. In that toilet approximately 2.2 grams of methamphetamine has been uh, uh, take, uh, taken by the police and that is the reason why Edwin has now been arrested by the police. Today he, he is going to file a bail application in the NDPS court because the main point of argument that he is trying to put forth is that it was only 2.2 grams and hence it does not fall in the category of commercial uh, no, uh, commercial viability so hence he should be granted the bail but yes it remains to be seen if that bail would be granted however N ncb now joining this probe makes this entire case even more murkier because now ncb will uh, N the team of ncb will be interrogating with the truck peddlers and edwin and also sudhir sangwan as to w and try to develop a chain of a, a chain of events and the chain of supply chain basically how did they get their hands on that MDMA drug because that is absolutely banned in the entire country and it is the kind of chemical substance that it is, it is absolutely banned. So how did they actually manage to get their hands on, on these drugs and how did, they, how did these drugs actually manage to enter Goa because remember there is absolute strict police checking wherever, wherever you go in and around Goa to make sure that the drug abuses are controlled because remember over the past few years we have seen that the number of cases of drug overdose in Goa has increased absolutely ex exponentially. So yes, it remains to be seen what comes out from the interrogation of the NCB. Also on the other hand, now most central agencies are now uh, going to interrogate this case. Uh, Goa CM Pramod Savant on the recommendation of Haryana CM ML Khattar has said that he is ready to order and see by inquiry into the entire case and hence a 
CBI is also going to take over the case in the next few days. Also, till the time that Goa Police is investigating, the Go a team of Goa Police today is going to leave from Goa to Haryana to Hisar, the native native town of Sonali Fogad, where they will try to uh, unearth more. Uh, more things and try to establish an exact timeline as to how did Sonali Fogad manage to reach to Goa because remember initially what the fam family has been alleging that when Sonali Fogad left from her residence in Hisar she actually said that she was going to Chandigarh and um, it was just on the 23rd of August that the family came to know that Sonali Fogad was in Goa and once she reached Goa, Sonali Fogad reached Goa on the evening of 23rd of August and right after checking into her hotel she went to, to that party in that infamous Kalis club uh, she went to that uh, went to that party and they started partying and it is there that she consumed those drugs uh, knowingly or unknowingly that is a matter of investigation and that is the uh, thing that the Goa police is trying to prove if that 1.5 grams of MDMA that was mixed in a drink if that was done intentionally or actually is, uh, the associates of Sonali Fogad had no idea as to how much quantity of drug was to be used and hence they mixed approximately half half of what what they had actually scored from from that predator so yes it remains to be seen what comes out of this investigation as of now but yes uh, more and more uh, revealing facts are coming to the fore and in the next few minutes we are going to hear about the bail plea of edwin as well Anshul, thank you so much for bringing us those details. For our audiences, we'll continue to track that story. Right now, that is all that we have for you on the Morning News Bulletin. Thank you so much for watching the show.